So in this video, we're going to talk more about conditioning as well as concepts of the self versus the not self and the deconditioning process. So in the earlier videos, you saw that the aspects that are defined, whether it be a center, a channel or a gate, means that that aspect is consistent within you. The energy of that element is always within you. It's part of who you are, whether it be your personality or your design, whether it be shown in red or black. And that your open centers or your undefined centers are areas where the energy is not consistently experienced. That's because your the way that you experience those energies of those various open centers, open gates or undefined gates and open channels is dependent on who you're around because you take on the energy of others around you. So even though these aren't consistently experienced in your life, they are dependent on who you're around, you do still experience these different energies depending on who you're around and these energies can impact your life for good or bad. You may have heard the term the not self. And what that basically is, is the opposite of the actual self. You're probably already familiar with the concept of the not self, even though the terminology may be new. Say for example, you have taken on certain ways of being that aren't really from yourself, but more so are from the expectations of others, whether that be society, family, friends, etc. This is a prime example of conditioning and the not self that can result from conditioning. Perhaps one of the biggest benefits of human design is to help you understand who you really are and to really peel back and remove those layers of your not self these aspects of self that are just not really part of who you are, but you've been conditioned to believe they are. In addition, understanding not only who you are, but how you operate is one of the most powerful gifts of human design. When you begin to actively implement the awareness of following your strategy and authority, that's when your true human design experiment begins. And that's when the real deconditioning can start happening for those who connect and resonate with the human design system. And by that, I mean that there are many ways that a person can decondition in life. Human design is just one of the paths. In my next video, we'll talk about compatibility and hanging gates more so.